Hey gang, Bronco Carl 92 here. So it's Monday, December 16th. It's 26 degrees. Today I'm going to install an external plug for my block heater on my Dodge diesel truck. Alright, so I was on the uh, Geno's Garage website. I was actually looking for a um, cover to go in front of my radiator so the engine doesn't uh, stay so cold in the wintertime. Uh, it seems like uh, the cooling system on this truck is uh, really overkill and uh, the engine just never really gets warm. Thermostat seems to be okay and everything, so a lot of people just recommend blocking off the, uh, the airflow to the radiator. So uh, I was looking for uh, a cover from them at Geno's and uh, they actually were on sale and uh, while I was looking um, I managed to come across uh, this neat item and uh, what it is it's a uh, receptacle that uh, clips into the um, the front of the bumper so your block heater cord doesn't dangle and get all crowded up and everything and all you do is you lift up a cover and you stick a cord into it so I thought that was neat it was on sale too so I bought it and uh, let me show you how to install it alright so here's what we have Cover, instructions, all right, so I guess from what it looked like, um, these get sandwiched on the bumper, one way or the other, like probably this way, I guess, uh, I guess this goes through there, and your cover plate goes on like this. And uh, so you do is you lift the cover up, and then you just stick your extension cord right into there. So let's uh, let's get the hood open and uh, let's get cracking. All right. So right now I've got this cord that just, uh, like I said, just hangs out of the bumper like that. And uh, when I unplug it, I just have to tuck it back in and uh, fish around for it when I need it the next time. So that plate mounts right over here, and. Uh, I think that'll uh, tidy things up a little bit. So uh, let me get this old cord off and uh, we'll get the new one in place. All right, so giving you a bird's eye view here. Um, here is over here the battery cable and I've got the uh, the original block heater cord, I guess zip tied to it. The, they suggest to take this duct off. So I'll heed their instructions and take the duct off. Because the uh, connection is actually down there on the side of the block. And of course with it being cooled out. Everything stiff. Okay, so... Probably should unplug the electric first. So the block heater is down here. And I tell you what, from this thing being plugged in, this motor, well, I guess it works pretty good. I wonder what that does to my electric bill. So that's off. And somewhere I have a pair of cutters. out of the way. Okay, so all right, so the next thing the instructions say to do is to basically assemble this plug with the plates mounted in the bumper, but don't hook this up yet. Well of course you can't because you gotta feed everything through. So cover plate
Okay, the, uh, the instructions are not the best, um, but uh, what I did was, um, there's a small plate and a large plate. The small plate goes on the inside, and the large plate sits on the outside like this. Um, I actually had to bend the inside plate a little bit because I didn't like the way it fit. So anyway, the large plate goes with the large uh, flange at the top. I've already uh, fed the cord through the um, through the, the uh, spring-loaded cover. The only way this fits on here is if the hinge portion is on the, is on the bottom side, which kind of looks weird, but whatever. hardware. Fingers are not cooperating with it being cold like this. index finger on my right hand got closed in a car door a couple years ago and I was in a hurry and whenever it's cold out I have no feeling in the end of that finger so right now it's numb not a good feeling get a different wrench. That should be better. Of course I'm not a lefty. such a cold day to do this. Alright, so anyhow. It's tight. So basically, this piece of metal is just getting sandwiched on the, uh, on the bumper here. Now I just got to route the cord to the uh, block heater. All right, so I, uh, I ran the cord through the, uh, the side of the core support there next to the intercooler. Just feeding it along this 
side here down to the block heater. So the old one had a thread on connector and this just has a I don't know, just like a rubber portion that just fits over. Back here I just dropped the damn clamp. As I was saying, the clamp. So you just basically just push it over the connector now. Squeeze the clamp. Grab a couple of zip ties, tie this up, put our hose back on, be back in a sec. All right, so I got us a couple of ties. So I'm just tie wrapping it to the negative battery cable. Just to keep it from uh, flopping around. And I don't think anything's really going to happen to it. Now we're going to go to the uh, AC line here. thing we got to do is put our boot back on That's that. All right, so now I'm gonna plug the truck in. All I gotta do is that. That's that. Okay, I'd also mentioned that I had uh, gotten a um, cover to block off the radiator. Got this from Geno's also. It's made by Covercraft. They make car covers. And uh, basically, it's got two windows on the front of it you can open or close and uh, allow more or less air to the radiator. So, I actually had this in here already. It's pretty cold. But I pulled it out before we did this job. I'm just going to stick it back in place. So 
it just kind of hangs down just in front of the, uh, the radiator. It's got a couple holes in it for the, um, the hood bumpers. And I plowed snow with it on just two days ago. No overheating problems or anything, so. Pretty happy about that. So there's two little hooks, and I guess you're supposed to slip them underneath the battery cable here. I was kind of surprised it came without instructions. But I guess instructions are as good as they can be written anyhow. Try the instructions for that block meter. Well, it sucked, so it's a blessing I didn't get into this. this. Anyhow, so like I said, just drop it in place. Close the hood. That's that. All right, so that's that. Um, like I said, the uh, the radiator blind was uh, made by Covercraft, and uh, the block heater is made by Excelsior Works. Um, and like I said, I wasn't really uh, thrilled with the instructions, but that's why I did a video. So anyhow. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, try to stay warm, and uh, we'll catch you all soon. Take care.